Before y'all do anything, go and hit that like button at the door. What it do, what it do, what it do, family. It's your brother tells the truth. Hope everybody having a righteous, righteous rising out there. It's 4 a.m. where I am at. Excuse me. I did this breakdown yesterday. And I cannot wait to finish because it's in the middle of me doing this breakdown. One of my, um, you know, favorite people to watch on YouTube actually got a notification just popping up across my screen that they end up finishing their breakdown on the same person. So I can't wait to, you know, do my due diligence to go back and, you know, check and see if I missed anything or if I have anything that I can add on to theirs. But with that being said, let's go ahead and break this man down, right? This is, we're going to be, within this video, we're going to be using Gematria. Now, what is Gematria? Gematria is, is basically just turning num letters into the numerical value. It's many different ciphers. I personally believe this practice as far as turning numbers into turning letters into numbers it came from um from the beginning of time as far as with using symbolism but as far as with the practice of just this turning letters into numbers i would say with the using the english language it came from greek hebrew time when the alphabets you know alphabeta when those came around. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. The four ciphers that we're gonna be using, cause it's like I said, there's many of them. The four that we're gonna be focusing on is, you know, ordinal cipher, reverse ordinal cipher, meaning in ordinal, A being one and Z being 26. Reverse ordinal, a being 26, Z being 1. And we're just adding those numbers up. Then we're going to be using the reduction cipher. Now, a Greek god Pythagoras, he believed that the pure, the pure numbers, the true numbers were 1 through 9, with A being 1 and J being 1. Because the ciphers, the um, one through nine starts over. You know, J is the tenth alphabet, so one plus zero equals one, all the way up to one through nine again. Then repeat that over with the next alphabet, and we're going to be doing that also in reverse. Those are the four ciphers we're going to be using. All right. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this article. So, breaking news: Antoine. Uh, and not Antoine. Anton walks Charlotte FC defender dead at 25 after boat accident in Florida. Pro soccer player Anton walks defender and midfielder for Charlotte FC tragically died after a boat accident in Florida. The team announced he was only 25 years old. The major league soccer club said Thursday the organization the organization is devastated by the news according to Florida Fish and Wildlife conversation conversation <laughs> commissions walks was found unconscious and received CPR from Miami Fire Rescue after a two boat crash near the Miami Marine Stadium on Wednesday afternoon Walks, who was operating one of the vessels, was taken to a nearby hospital where he later died from his injuries. The car, the crash is under investigation. He was a tremendous son, father, partner, and teammate whose joyous approach to life touched everyone he met. Charlotte FC owner David Tepper said, Antoine and time made those around him better people in all areas of life represented Charlotte FC to the highest standard both on and off the pitch. The England native started his soccer career at, at 16 when he signed with Tottenham Hotspur 
in the Premier League. He was loaned to Atlanta United under joining League One Portsmouth in 2017, where he played for several years. Now, this TMZ article, as you see, this came from TMZ Sports. Sorry about my voice. I don't know if I'm coming down with this little something or whatever, but once again, it is 4 a.m. where I'm at. I'm literally just getting out of bed. Happy to hop right on this. But after reading this article up to, up to this point, I feel like we got enough to cover, you know, the numbers. And with that said, if you want to finish reading this article, be more than welcome. The link will be in the um, description. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, let's go ahead and hop straight into this. All right. So from the very beginning, the headline, they say he died by a boat accident in Florida. Now, if we, as we see, if we take his full name, Anton, Anton Charles Walks, it has that same sacred nexity with that 66 in the same reduction cipher. Boat accident in Florida, just how they said it, FL, copy and paste, into dramachinator.com. And it has the same synchronicity in the same cipher as his full name. Moving on, we ain't gonna make this for too long. Starting off, the very first, from the very beginning, from the very beginning, pro soccer player. Pro soccer player has that 81, just like Ritual. Now, pause. I always, I got to mention this. 81 is a, a lot of rituals happening around that number. 81, using that number, 81. And it has that, that it, it's going to be in there somewhere. We just did a video on Charles, Charles Johnson. His, his main number of his whole career, 81. Once again, talking about Kobe Bryant, Mr. 81, his highest scoring game. He dropped 81 points around that time of all those things going on with the, you know, the speculations and things. He dropped 81 points. But not only did he drop 81 point, points, he dropped his highest scoring points on his 666 game of his career. We know he was born into this because of his father. Continuing on. So, pro soccer player equals 81 in two different ciphers, just like ritual equals 81 in two different ciphers. Just how they said it, as you see. Taking it back to the headlines. Anton Walks. I want you to pay attention to this 3663. The reflection of 63 is 36, vice versa, 3663. So Anton Walks, taking his name, just how they said it. Go back to this article, soccer, what did he do? He played soccer. Soccer equals in two different ciphers, that same reflection thing going on with the 63 and 36. And 36 and 63. That's what he did. He played soccer, right? Now, moving on. They said he was, Walks was found unconscious. And where was he found unconscious? What was his place of death? In Miami, Florida. So Miami FL, you know, how they said Miami, Florida equals 63. And unconscious equals 63. That's a lot of 63s and 36s right there going on. You know what I'm saying? From his name, how they said, Anton Walks. All the way to soccer, what he does. <laughs> Unconscious, where he was. Miami, Florida, where they were, where he was when they found him. Okay. 
Now moving on in this TMZ Sports article. Uh-huh. We, we ain't playing today. Walks. That's what they call him. His last name. Anton. His first name. So, Anton Walks, right? As y'all see down there below. And dead from his injuries. So, Anton... Now, as y'all see, what circle here? The 71 and the 17. That's a, that's a, just pay attention to this. 71 and 17 walks. Has that 71 in the reflection of 71, which is 17. Dead from his injuries. Has that 107. In other words, 17. Because in Dramatria, zeros do not exist. So drop them. So that's another 17 from, you know, what they say he died from. Died from his injuries. And then his first name. So Anton Walks died from his injuries. Now let's go ahead and really read it how they read it. Because they read in numbers. These elite groups, they read in numbers. We read in what they type up, which are letters. This is what it really says. Athlete. Because <laughs> I want you to pay attention to all these 71s and and, and 17s. It's a story, and it's, it's, it's how they read it. It's just how we read it and how they read it. That's really, that's really it. It's either you're going to read it with the letters or the numbers. They read it by the numbers. So, athlete, Anton Walks, first signed to, we're going to get to this part, but first signed to Toneham Hotspur, was deceased January 19th, which was yesterday, the day he passed away on, January 19th, 2023. He died from his injuries. Quote, unquote. Do you see the story? And it's crazy how all of those things just happen to, you know, tie in. You know, athlete Anton Walks, first signed to Tottenham Hotspur, deceased January 19, 2023, died from his injuries. That's what it really says. That's, yeah. All right, moving on. Now, they had to mention in the article, David Tepper. They just had to mention David Tepper in this. You know, the owner of the Charlotte FC. They had to mention the guy. And, yes, you know me. I got my notes down here. So, y'all seeing exactly what I'm, what I'm seeing. So David Tepper, I took his birthday. Cause you know, that's what they do. They take your birthday, they take your, your name, your full name, your birth name, and then they write the rest of your life out. Unless it was scripted. And then, you know, I mean, it's gonna be a script anyway, but I mean, unless you were born into it, like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, um, these are these people born into these roles, you know. Yeah, it's different because when they're born into it from their parents, their life is scripted out. So David Tepper, the owner of, as what they said, the owner of the Charlotte FC, which um, Anton Charles Walks played for, they had to mention him in this article. But this is why. So, David Tepper was born September 11. What a coincidence, 9-11. But if you take his birthday that was coming up in this year, 2023. And if you take Anton's birthday 
as you see in that first um, right top corner, which Anton's was born February 8th. And let's say his take his birthday this year. It was a span of seven months and three days from Anton's birthday this year in February 8th until September 11th, Dave Tepper's birthday, leaving three months, seven months and three days, 73 in other words. As y'all see, sacrifice equals 73. And then even, you know, sink them more, the day that Anton died yesterday, January 19th, 2023, up until the um, birthday of um, Dave Tepper, as y'all see, September 11th, 2023, that's a seven month span and three weeks. So that's 73 again, just like sacrifice. And then a salute to, you know, the, the, the 33 degrees, the highest level, that important number down there. Of course, they gotta throw a salute to them using that 33 week span from January 19th, 2023, the death date of this man that we're speaking on today. Anton Charles Walks. It was a span from his death date to September 11, 2023. Dave Tepper, who they had to mention in this man's death article. It was a span of 33 weeks from his death date to this man's birthday. Another salute. Another salute. All right, now moving on. They had to take his name out and throw this England native in here. It it was just real interesting to me why they just had to do this. So what did I do? As you see, England native, I took that, copied and pasted it right into jamatronator.com because that's what they gave us, so that's what I take. And as you see, just like we're gonna be seeing a lot this year. Two, two, three is in it. But also that 56 is in it. That two, two, three is the number for skull and crossbones, which we are in the year of skull and crossbones. And that 56 ties into the Jesuit order. In other words, the Society of Jesus. In other words, the Pope and all of his folk. And that 56 also ties up directly into this man's February 8th, his birthday. They take your birthday in the Satanic religion. They say one's highest holiday is his birthday. They take your birthday. They, they take your birthplace, your full name, and they write they, they take, they see the numbers that's in it and they write the rest of it. So know what you're getting into if you really wanna get in these situations with these people. Now, speaking on this two, two, three. Once again, this is the year of Skull and Bones. 2020, 2023. You know what I'm saying? So 2023, zeros don't exist in Dramatria. Once again, so I always take them out, drop them. Boom, 223, skull and crossbones, 223. In the reflection, 322, vice versa. That's what it is. So a lot of people gonna have this, a lot of puppets are gonna have this in their death numerology. Now, Taking his birthday, his full birthday, February 8th, 1997, to his death day, which was yesterday, January 19th, 2023, is what they say. It gives us a span of 311 months. In other words, 311, the reflection of that, 113. Now, like in a lot of puppets situations, this 113 is very, very, you know, 
big that we should speak on. It's, it's very important because that, as you see, is the number for not true, illusion, bullshit, politics, fiction. It's the word for things being not factual. It's not true. In other words, dishonest. So, yeah. What this is saying to you is Anton Charles Walks, born February 8th, 1997, dying January 19th, 2023, is some bullshit. With that being said, be sure to like, share, subscribe. I've been working hard on this. Now, I'm going to hop over there and go check out this video that Kipfo made right after I'm finished editing and to see if I missed anything or if I hit all the points that this brother hit. But I'm sure it's going to be some difference within that, and I hope it do, because that way we both grow. Um, but, yeah, like, share, subscribe. <sighs> I've been working. Let me know what y'all think.